What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the most underrated Gigantamax Pokemon in the game and one of the coolest Gen 8 Pokemon. We got Sendiscorch over here. Cannot wait to use them. Haven't used them in about like a year. So it's going to be a lot of fun to bring him back onto the rank ladder and use him in a totally different manner. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? What are you doing? It is totally free to, su to subscribe to somebody on YouTube. So if you're not subscribed, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. But like I said, Sense Scorch, definitely a very cool Pokemon. Cannot wait to use them and just rock out with them in a totally different manner. Because whenever you use a Pokemon that you haven't used in a while, it feels good. It just feels brand new. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's been like a year since I used them. So let's get after it and try to get some wins with it. Let's get started here with a team preview in that top left corner with the one and only Thunders, Defiant Ability, and a Soul Fest. We got a great move set on him with Wild Charge Fly, Brick Break, and Foul Play. And this Pokemon is just great considering Intimidate is just a huge part of the meta. Having a Defiant Pokemon like Thunders is great for any team. Next to him is going to be Weezing over here with the Neutralizing Gas to take off abilities on the field. We also got that Shuka Berry so it can eat up ground move. Then we got Sludge Bomb for Stab, Will O Wisp to burn physical attackers, Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods, and last but not least, we're rocking with Protect on this Weezing. Middle left is going to be our Restricted Mon, and this Pokemon is also underrated. It's like Center Scorch, but it's an underrated Restricted Mon. We got Power Construct, we got Leftovers, then we got Thousand Hours, Coil, Scale Shot for Stab, and Protect for its final move. But Zygarde's really, really good in my opinion. Definitely underrated. Once you get that Power Construct ability to roll out, it turns into an absolute beast. Usually I like to roll Weakness Policy, but Leftovers isn't a bad item for Zygarde. Right next to him is going to be Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini is just great in all situations. Really good typing with Water and Fairy. It's got Misty Surge for Surge Control as its ability. Citrus Berry as the item. Then we got Moon Blast, Muddy Water, Protect for three moves. And last but not least, we're rocking Haze on this Pokemon. I really do like having Haze on, on a Pokemon on team. It actually works out really well, especially if your opponent has Pokemon that can set up with Weakness Policy or moves like Iron Defense and just bulk up. We can just roll in with Tapu Fini, Haze it out, take off all stat changes on the field, and roll out with the battle. Bottom left hand corner is the reason I picked this team. We got the one and only Senta Scorch. G Max Senta Scorch in that bottom left hand corner with that white smoke ability, which works just like Clear Body. Cannot be changed stats by opposing Pokemon. It is awesome. Cannot just like, you can't like take him out. You cannot take him out just on stat changes. So it works out really, really well, especially because he is a physical attacker. So Intimidates will not affect this guy. We got that Binding Band as his item. It's going to work well with his G Max move. And then we got Flare Blitz, Power Whip, Knock Off, Take Off items, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Final Pokemon for the squad is going to be a support in DD. We got Psychic Surge for more Surge Control on the team. Focus Ash, Expanding Force, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? You guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with his Zygarde and Gigantamax sent to Scorch team. Gotta love the high Master Ball tier ladder. We are top 3,000, and we're going to be seeing a bunch of meta teams. We're going up against a heavy meta Zassian team that features Regilecki, Rillaboom, Incineroar, Urshfu, and a Rackwin. I'll give him a Rackwin. Pretty cool Pokemon. But we got Sendiscorch over here. We're going to try to get rocking out with this guy and grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But he has Rillaboom, and I'm really going to need to take Surge Control. So I think bringing like Tapu Fini or Indeed is going to be great for the squad. But who should I go into this one? How should I play it? I could actually lead you. I'm kind of digging just leading you just in case Defiant and going in with Sendiscorch as well. It'd be pretty well. Could be pretty well, could be pretty fun here as well. Um, do we go with uh, Senta Scorch or Zygarde for lead? I definitely want to bring Zygarde, Finny, and Senta Scorch as my last three, but I don't know who I should lead. He could bring Regilecki, so Zygarde could be could be pretty good here. Zygarde could be pretty good here. But again, he is he does have oh no, he does have intimidate. So Zygarde's great. Because if he goes in intimidate, he'll intimidate my Zygarde, but we will get that defiant boost on our lovely little thunder. So I'm with that all day. We'll bring Santa Scorch in the back end, alongside with Top of Finny, just in case we want to change that terrain and go out from there. I'm with it. I'm with it. I understand that like Real Boom's super effective Top of Finny, but by taking out that terrain with Top of Finny, just works so well. And I'd rather have Top of Finny instead of Indy for a few of these Pokemon. So I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. But before battle number one starts, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What is your favorite Gigantamax Pokemon to use? Considering we're using Sentence Scorch, there's a lot of cool ones that a lot of people don't use. Usually the only Gigantamax Pokemon they use is like a starter, Charizard, or like Lapras. That's pretty much it. So if there's a cool G-Max Pokemon that you don't really get to use, but it's your favorite, let me know in the comment section down below. But he goes in with these two. I'm kind of with this. I'm kind of with this. We can go straight into a Wild Charge, which I think I'm just going to do that. And I might just drop a thousand arrows and see what he does from here. Because who could he really swap into? Alice Narrow is going to be doing people dirty. If he swaps into, uh... If he swaps into Rillaboom, I'm kind of fine with that. He might swap into Rillaboom if he does have it. We'll see how this one plays. 
could protect, but I'm fine with just going into a wild charge onto that right slot alongside with a thousand arrows. But he's gonna start off straight with a Dynamax, okay? He's gonna straight up Dynamax, and I can see that being the Regilecki. Let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. Is it the Regilecki? Nope, it's gonna be that Urshfu, and I think Urshfu's coming straight from my Zygarde. Can we eat up a shot from that thing? It's gonna be looking a little tough. Here. It's gonna be looking a little tough, but we might have to Dynamax somebody other than my Scent Scourge. I really want to Dynamax Scent the Scourge, but like if this Urshfu's on the field, it's definitely scaring me. This thing's gonna set up a reflex, so that's a great call by him. Setting up a screen with that Regilecki. Let's get rocking here. Wild Charge gonna poke here. Get off a decent amount of damage. More than half with that reflect out on the field. Up, it was a crit. We got lucky. We take those all day though. We'll take some mean recoil damage and see what he goes into. It's good to know we outspeed though. Rapid flow is gonna come out here. Can we eat that up? Oh, you're going after him. Okay, you're going after him. I thought you were going after Zygarde. Okay, I'm cool with this. Red's like he's going to take some big damage here. And we'll see how this one plays out. Thousand Arrow is going to poke. Yo, big old damage onto uh, Regilecki. We get another crit onto who? I think it was that Urshfu again. But we can come out in the U. I really don't want to go into my Scent Scorch just yet. I mean, I could. I could pop into Scent Scorch and just guard. That could definitely be my play. Where do I go into U? I'm going to go into Tapu Fini here. I think Tapu Fini is definitely my play. We could protect the Fini. This is tough call. This is tough call. Do we protect the Fini here? We bring out Tapu Fini, so the electric moves are definitely going to get popping. I want to get my Sentence Scorch into Dynamax, or do I just Dynamax like Zygarde or something? The Zygarde could come in here for the Dynamax right here, right now, which I would love. This, this might be our play. We could set that up and just, you know, protect you and just Dynamax the Zygarde. I really want to save my Dynamax. I really want to save my Dynamax. So you know what? We're just going to go into a thousand arrows. I think maybe like a Thunderbolt. Yeah, I think we should be fine. I think maybe like a Thunderbolt is going to come in to uh, Top of Finny. So if we can block that and just get off some damage and take out at least one Pokemon, then send Scorch and roll in here. We can do good. Volt Switch comes out here. Big block coming in here. We should be able to take out Regilecki. And who is he going for? He's going to go for a Rapid Flow into my Zygarde. And I think Zygarde eats this up, right? Let's go. Zygarde with a big E. And we're coming in with a big double kill. Coming in with a big double kill here. God, I love it. Zygarde clutching up here, soaking up some shots. Big double kill and taking out his G-Max. So we still have Sense of Scorch in the back, which is going to work wonders. Which is going to work wonders, and I cannot wait to Dynamax that boom. Honestly, like, Dynamax and Zygarde was probably the play there. I think it was 100% the play. But the thing about it was, I really want to show off Sense of Scorch. Like, if, if, I, if I really cared about winning this battle, I would have Dynamaxed the uh, Zygarde here. We do a Power Construct, and I knew that he probably would have half my health. But I was just like, yo, well, we're trying to showcase uh, Sense Scorch, and we have fun around here, so we're going to do that. Power Construct comes out. That's huge, yo. That's seriously amazing. His ability is phenomenal, considering how big of an HP boost you get. Now we're still sitting in a great position in the battle, and who's he going to bring out here? Who are you going to bring out here? Zacian? Doesn't he have Zacian, right? Rillaboom? Okay, we might have to swap. Swapping might be our play here. Swapping might be our play. Unless he doubles down into the Sense of Scorch slot. This could be tough. But we need the Surge Control, so I need to swap my Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini is a must. Grassy Surge coming out here. Let's swap it. Let's swap the Fini. Keep in Zygarde. I could protect the Zygarde. I could definitely protect the Zygarde. Do I do that? Let's swap you. Let's get out my Sense of Scorch. I don't think he doubles down on my Sense of Scorch, right? I think he just goes for like a Grassy guy, something along those lines. And in this case, we could protect. Yeah, I'm just going to protect you. That's my play. Protect, try to get my Sense Scorch out here, and just Gigantamax that and roll off from there. Let's see. But if we make the wrong call here, if he doubles down into my Sense Scorch slot or my Tapu Fini slot, and my Sense Scorch goes down or goes to really low HP, I'll just end up Dynamaxing my uh Zy or my yeah, my Zygarde to kind of roll off from there. But we need that search control. I'm not I'm not dealing with that. We're gonna swap it to our shiny Sense Scorch. Look at that. Yo, blue and red? Perfect color combination. Love it so much. Protect's gonna pop out here. And what are we gonna see happen? What is this guy gonna do here? He's gonna end up gl grassy gliding. And we block it. Oh, that's a huge block. He grass glides into that. And he's going to go for... Oh, no way. He doubles down. He doubles down. We get the free swap. And that is... That's enormous. That is enormous. I love it. I love it. All right. From here, uh, we're just going to go into a fire move. And who do I fire move up onto? I mean, I think Zassian protects, to be honest with you guys. I honestly think Zassian protects. So, G-Max sent the furnace going to come out here. And what does it do again? I know it, like, binds Pokemon. But I want to read the description. A fire-type attack... That Gigantamax Sense Scorch uses this move, traps opponents in flames for four to five turns. Four to five turns? Is it like an RNG thing? But we have the Binding Band's gonna make it do more damage. We're gonna end up Dynamaxing, and I guess we'll just go into a thousand arrows. I think that's our play, but it's just huge that both these Pokemon pose such a big threat. 
But here we go. We finally get our Scent Scorch out here. We're Dynamax him. And that was a perfect swap. He ends up doubling down into my Zygarde. We get off a huge protect. And I thought maybe, just maybe, he was going to double down in my top of Finny. But maybe he thought I was protecting my top of Finny, to be honest. Because that would have been the that would have been an easy play because we were just going to go, okay, he has Grass Guide. He has a Steel Move. Let's, uh, let's, let's uh, protect here. But Grass Guide's going to poke out here. We should be able to soak up a Grass Guide, right? Yeah, look at that, yo. This thing's a beast. This thing is a beast. He's going to come in with a Behemoth Blade. Can we eat that up? Can we eat up a Blade? I know that's not going in Sun Scorch. Let's make it happen. He's going to end up taking us out. Okay, I'm still chilling with this. I'm still chilling with this because, you know, G-Max sent the Scorch is coming in here. Dropping a nice little Scent Inferno. And this, was this going to KO this thing? I mean, if not, the Binding Damage should be able to do enough. There it goes. Brings it down the red. And this Binding Damage should just be able to do him dirty here. Right? If not, we'll protect and take him out. It does one eighth of health. And that might be able to do enough. Let's see. That's looking close to Roboom's health. Do enough. Oh my lord. Bring him down the one. We bring him down the one. Okay, let's bring out Top of Finny here. And I think we just protect Top of Finny and we go after uh Zassian here, right? Gotta be your play. Gotta be your play. Misty Surge is gonna take control. And do we outspeed Roboom now? That's the real question. I don't even think we take the risk. I just think we straight up go into it. Protect. And we let the uh binding damage take out the Roboom. And we just go into another. Another Santa Scorch move right here. Right? You give me no reason not to. Yo, look at his, like, what is that? A mustache? Just like the flames coming across his face in a big X. He just looks so sick in Gigantamax form. He grows like an extra 50 feet. <laughs> Dude, he's huge. He's huge. Yo, you gotta love his Gigantamax form. And I love when he uses his move. He turns to, like a zigzag. It just works out really well. But Protect comes out here from Tapu Fini. Are we gonna solidify this battle? Let's make it happen here. He's gonna end up going for Behemoth Blade. And Santa Scorch should be able to soak it up. It is double damage. Ten score should say, Ayo, that's an easy snack. Wow, that still did a lot of damage. That still did a lot of damage here. Don't like it one bit. And high horsepower is going to come in here. And we're going to be able to soak that up all day. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Sent the furnace is going to come in here. Real Boom's 100% going down here. Are we going to take out Zassian here? We bring it down to here. And it's going to go down to the uh, damage. So there it is. GG's. Sent the Scorch clutching up in the end, taking out Zacian and taking out Roboom. Two heavy meta Pokemon getting countered by this G-Max Sent the Scorch. Gotta love it. Battle number one in the bag. We start off 1-0. Let's hop it to a second. Look to go back to back. The Giant Centipede comes in the back end and clutches up for battle number one. Let's hop it to a second battle and go back to back for today's video. We're going up against a Rush Rant team. And pretty cool. We're hopping uh, top 3,000 for Master Tier. So it's pretty cool seeing some off meta teams. We got Rush Ram. Uh, Landorus, Blastoise, Rillaboom, Porygon 2 for Trick Room, and then he also has Glacier. So how should we play this one? I might just want to go straight into Weezing, because I can taunt if he wants to go into Porygon 2. I can kind of put some burns on some Pokemon as well. So I'm going to go into Weezing alongside with, uh, hmm. Did I bring Center Scorch for turn 1? I really do think he's going to maybe lead, like, the Landorus or the Porygon 2. But I think I'm just going to go into Assault Vest, uh, to find Pokemon over here. Just in case he wants to roll into Landorus and get that, uh, Intimidate and get that, uh, boost and kind of roll out from there. We're going to bring Zygarde, obviously, great restrict them on. And then do we bring Senta Scorch, or do we bring Tapu Fini here? Or do we bring Indeedee? Indeedee could be pretty solid, but I do not want two support mods, so it's either Tapu Fini or Senta Scorch. And in this case, I don't care if he really has that terrain. I feel like we should be fine with just going after this uh, Rillaboom. So I think just bringing Senta Scorch on its own could be really, really good. So let's rock out with it. Let him have terrain. It's no big deal. It is no big deal for us. I mean, and if Weezing's out on the field, he can't even prop or uh, pop his terrain because, you know, we got that neutralized gas, which takes off all abilities. But first battle was awesome. That was such a good battle. Such a good battle. Cool to get a win against a meta team with an off meta team. It's always fun. It's always fun. But let's see who he leads. He does have a Senta Scorch hat. His hat is a Senta Scorch hat, and I love it. I love it, yo. I saw this team, I was just like, yo, I have to use this team. I have to use this team. But I did not mention this in the beginning of the video. If you're not following to my Twitch page, go down, link in the description below, and follow my Twitch page. Gene25 on Twitch. Name is right below the face cam. Hit, hit me up over there. We uh we stream five plus days every single week. We do viewer battles for BDSP. We're going to be doing Series 12 content and Legend Arceus content over there. So definitely go down there, hit that follow button, and say hi to me when I'm live. I would love to see you guys pop out. But it goes Rush Ram alongside with Porygon 2. And in this case, I'm just going to taunt straight up onto you. And I could Brick Brick. I mean, I could, or I could foul play. I think I'm just gonna go straight into a wild charge, and or I could swap. What do I want to do? Swapping in Zygarde could be play uh, because he is dragging. Should we just stay in here? We just break break. I said we get after his Porygon. Let's do it. Let's double down to his Porygon because Vesperian might protect and he might try to set up a trick room and kind of go out from there. Just gonna straight up withdraw on Porygon. Okay. We're going to get to withdraw, and Rillaboom is going to poke out here. He does not have his grassy terrain. That's really, really good. We could have went to, like, a fly or something. Brick Brick coming in here. 
And we're going to taunt up on this thing. Earth Power Pokin. And we have a Shuka Berry. Love a little Shuka Berry. This isn't really going to do too much, even without the Shuka Berry. Yes. Yeah, wait, can we eat up? No, we cannot eat up another one. Wow, it did a lot of damage. Did a lot of damage. Taunt's going to come out here. And what do I do from here? Protect and maybe burn Robin? Could definitely be my play. Could definitely be my play. Let's do this. I do think he might fake out the Thunderous. So I cannot protect you. Let's just go into a fly. Let's just go into a fly. I can't protect Roboom, so Roboom is a safe, safe shot to go into. But Roboom's just so good. And I would love to burn him before this terrain comes out here after our Weezing goes down. It would just be nice. It would just be nice. Let's see what he does here. Let's see this dude's play. But I think Weezing goes down here to his Earth Power. This, oh my lord. I hate this game hate this game so much <laughs> but i'm thinking uh weezing's gonna go down here before he even pulls out the will and then terrain's gonna pop and then i'm gonna fly and then he's gonna swap out his roll boom it's just gonna be a mess oh he swaps out roll boom right now who's he gonna go into or he got to yo what is up with this dude so he dodges oh no, yo he dodges a taunt what a good turn by him i'll give it to him all day he dodges a taunt and he's gonna go into a blue flare which we dodge it's a great little dodge will is gonna poke out here it is gonna connect so we could taunt again we could definitely taunt could go for the taunt, but I think we just die here. I think we die. I think he sets up Trick Room and he kind of goes out from here. But you know what? I'm just going to protect you because we know the Earth Power is flying through. If he wants to set, set up a Trick Room, he can set up a Trick Room. We'll let him have. We'll let him We'll let him have his fun. We'll let him have his fun. Because if he sets up a Trick Room, that means I get another turn with my Weezing. Then I could bring out Zygarde, who's a bit slower. I think he's slower than Measure Ram. Uh, we'll just see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays. We die or we protect with our Weezing. Fly's going to poke out here. Yeah, yo, getting off some damage. We do have Assault Vest. It really isn't doing too much damage to that. And Earth Power's going to poke, which we block. Lovely. Lovely block. And this thing is going to pop the Trick Room. So Trick Room comes out and about. Weezing will be able to get off a shot here. And what do I do? What shall I do here? I could go into a Brick Break into Porygon 2 if I want to. Just start teeing off damage. But it probably has Recover. So I think just going straight in the Rest Ram here. And maybe doubling down into him. Could go into a Foul Play. Could go into a Brick Break. I could swap. I could need swap. Hmm. No, I don't think we swap. I, th I, I think we keep this guy in here. I think maybe we should go for fly. Let's get after this res ram. Just on Dynamax, he's going to swap Porygon 2. And who's he going to into? Glacier. Glacier's coming out. Oh, dude, if I would have burned it. If I would have burned on that side, but that would have been a crazy read. That honestly would have been a crazy read. But Sludgehorn's going to poke. Give me poison. Yes! Good work. Good work, Weezing. Good work. Before Weezing goes out, he's going to... He's going to do that. Glacier's going to come out here. And Glacier's not going to lie. It's super, super scary. He's super, super scary. He does work on a lot of my Pokemon. I think Scent Scorch has to come out here. Turbo Blaze is coming out. And then this thing has his ability ready to roll. Okay, so obviously the What's Called is going to come out here. The Dynamax from the Glacier. So we have to bring out Scent Scorch because, you know, my boy Zygarde is just going to get ripped up. So Scent Scorch is going to come out here. We're going to have to Dynamax him and go into a Fire Move. That is my play. Let's do it. Let's do it, yo. Dynamax Glacier, and he's really tanky. This is tough news. This is real tough news for us. Real tough news for us. Let's Dynamax. Let's go into this Sentaferno and get after it that way. This, this is our one way out. We need to clutch up with G-Max and Scorch, but this guy's just like playing us slow and outplaying us right now. He was outplaying us in the beginning by swapping in the Roll Boom, swapping back into Porygon, dodging the Taunt. Oh my god. He's just putting the burn on the wrong Pokemon. It was just really good plays. Really good plays by him, but. I really want the Dynamax side guard, but it's just, it can't happen. He gets touched by one ice movie set. It's four times super effective. Effective to him. He's ground, and he's dragon, and he has Glacier in a trick room. It's just a tough time. It's just a real tough time. All right, make a move, my guy. Make a move. I think he's struggling to pick. He's struggling to pick here. But obviously, he has a Dynamax Glacier, right? He's got a Dynamax Glacier. Yep, there it is. Glacier is going to get that Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax my Sender Scourge, and we're going to see how this one plays out. He's gonna max guard, like he could do a lot here. I think he just comes in with a move onto my Scent Scorch. And we'll see how this one plays out. Because we cannot take out this Pokemon in one. Even if we were like weakness policy proc, Glacier can soak up some shots. He can really soak up a lot of shots. But the big part here is gonna be able to get this binding damage off. Here comes my Dynamax Scent Scorch coming back in. Can we clutch it up again? Can we do him dirty again? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Here we go, baby. Big centipede. Big old centipede coming in here. Look at my dude. Look at my dude. He's so cool. I had him on my uh, playthrough team. On my playthrough team. He was uh, he was part of the squad. He was awesome. He was a really cool Pokemon. He's going to end up dropping a Quick. Ooh. Quick's kind of scary. But it's not Stab. 
Okay, cool. We soak up. He, he wants that uh, special defense boost, which is huge. And I think he might have weakness policy, which could be tough. But I kind of hope he's not rocking weakness policy. Because if that's the case, we're sitting in a real tough spot here. So now comes the flare. This thing is being able to soak up a lot. Another flare will take that out. But I think we are policy proccing here. He's not. Okay, that's lovely. And geez, yo, that blue flare doesn't take us out. Fly's going to come out here. Get off some damage. Get after it, baby. Nice flow. Ooh, big old damage. This thing's going to trigger a barrier. We got poison on that. We have our uh, other turns rolling out pretty strong. Kind of like what we're saying. Now, the thing is, do we think that Glacier can take us out in one shot? Or do we max guard here? We could indeed max guard if we want to. That's some big damage. That is some big damage. I'm thinking of just guarding here. Wasting out circum turns. Trying to get Zygarde guard back out here. And just going straight into a brick break into Glacier. I'm with this all day. Let's do it. Let's see what happens here. No way he reads to protect. No way he reads to protect. He's got to go into like an ice move, another quake, something along those lines into my uh, center school slot. Right? He's got it. If he reads this, we lose. If he reads his max guard, we lose. Let's make this happen. He's not weakness policy, which is great. I wonder what items he's holding. Maybe Lumberry? Maybe Lumberry, right? He's not orbed. He's not orb. He's not weakness policy. I'm seriously like wondering what item he's holding. Maybe focus ash just in case. He ends up guarding. Okay, this is just a neutral turn. So we both end up guarding. I think he's gonna come after me with a blue flare, right? Draco Mirror's gonna come in here. We block. Okay. I'm with this. Poison damage gonna chip. Oh, we might be able to take that thing out with a with a with a sent to scorch damage. Come on, yo. Sent to scorch damage is ripping. Take him out. Let's go, yo. That's a huge KO. That is a huge KO. Actually, it might be bad because he might bring out a real slow mon, but he doesn't really have too many slow mons. You gonna bring back out roll boom? Kind of with it if he brings back out. Roll boom. In this case, I'm gonna brick break into him, and I'm just gonna go into a uh, fire move into roll boom. Let's see, yo. Sent to scorch is beast, and he's a lot better than I remember. A lot better than I remembered. Roboom's gonna come out here. He can fake me out, which could be his play. And if he does, he he can do that. That's totally fine. We still have our lovely little uh, Zygarde in the back end. And all he has is Porygon 2. And there's only one more turn left in Trick Room. So I'm not worried about the Glacier if Trick Room ends. Because a thousand arrows can just dump on that, no problem. So I'm just gonna go into that. I'm just gonna go into a Brick Break. We take it out, we take it out. That's huge. But yo, he hasn't really touched my... Uh, he hasn't touched my boy. He hasn't touched my boy all game. My lovely thunders. But that max guard was fine, considering like uh it was a neutral turn, blocks went out here, and the uh, rest ram just dropped down to my sense scorch and poison damage. I'm thinking if fake out's gonna come out here, he's trying to just chip up damage on me. I think he's doubling down on me. He's gonna double down on me, and I think that takes me out, right? We go into another quake. Can we eat? Soak it up, baby. Nope, we do not soak it up, and uh, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with this turn. I'm fine with this turn because this brick break will bring it down close enough for the uh, sense scorch damage to take it out. And then we just bring in Zygarde. And Zygarde can definitely eat up a grassy glide. And just get off some work. He does have Porygon. He does indeed have Porygon. What do we do from here? So is going to give him that boost. But again, I think he's dead, right? Brick break coming in here. And brick break not doing nearly as much as I wanted to. Nearly as much as I wanted to. Wow. I thought brick break could do a little bit more than that. That's rough news. Sense Scorch damage coming out here, chipping him down. His Dynamax turns are over, and Trick Room's over. So, I, like, I could just drop a thousand arrows here and take out Glacier. If not, the uh, the other thing's gonna take him out, and then I could just double down into him. I could just double down into this Robum. Robum's definitely a problem here. He's definitely a problem. So finally, we get rid of Trick Room. Yo, this is a good battle. It's a great battle. Okay, so a thousand arrows gotta come in, right? Thousand arrows is a must. Or we could just Scale Shot and read to protect. But no, I doubt he's protecting. I doubt he's protecting. So we're going to go into that. I could fly. I could foul play. I think foul play might be our best bet. Because you know, fly is just going to be a waste of a turn because he's just going to dodge it with a protect. Hmm. What is my play? I could fly in the Porygon and force a protect out of Real Boom. I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking that. We're going to fly here. Ready? Ready? Watch this. We're going to fly. He's going to think we're going after Real Boom. So he's going to protect next turn with Real Boom. We know he's going to protect next turn and he does not go into a Grassy God. He does not go into a glide here. We take out Glacier. And Robum, please go into my uh, Thunder slot. Let's see what he does here. He goes into a Woodhammer, and that's going after me. E. Can we soak that? All day, baby. Power Construct popping. 
Power Construct popping, baby. Oh, yo, this is a great battle. This is a great second battle. We're having some good battles today. Leftover's gonna poke here. Power Construct's gonna pop out here. We fall below half. And we can eat up another Wood Hammer now. So watch this. Watch this nice little play by me. I'm hoping this works out. I'm hoping this works out. So we're up in air. He thinks that we're probably coming after Rillaboom. But we're actually going after... Uh, we're actually going after Porygon too. And I believe he's going to protect here, right? I can definitely see him protecting. And we're just going to double down into PZ here. We are just going to double down into Porygon Z. It's going to be my play. Porygon Z comes out here. He might pop another Trick Room. I think he might protect and pop a Trick Room. Might be his play. Might be his play. So in this case, we're just going to go into a Scale Shot. I mean, Scale Shot's pretty good, right? The user attacks by shooting scales two to five times. The This move boosts the user's speed stat, but lowers defense. Ooh, we might not want to go into that. We're just going to go into another thousand arrows. See how this one goes in here. Fly's going to poke out here. Get after it. And he does not protect, so our move actually fails here. Our move actually fails. We can go into a fly next turn. Thousand arrows is going to poke here, and I wonder what PZ's doing here. We still have the Sense of Scorch damage chipping away, which is great. And PZ or Real Boom's going to go for a knockoff. That's totally fine. Take off my leftovers. We're able to soak up a shot. And what's PZ going for? A Trick Room. The Trick Room comes out here. He could recover. We have to get rid of this Real Boom. We definitely have to get rid of this Real Boom. Real Boom, you got to go. So he does not protect, and our move actually kind of fails. We could have just taken out the Real Boom from there. So in this case, we're just going to go into a fly again into Real Boom this time. Burn's chipping away. And I don't think he has... I don't think he has, has enough... Uh, Damage in his tank to take us out. And you know what? I'm just gonna go into. I'm just gonna scale shot into this thing. Cause our, de our defense is gonna drop. That's the thing. Our defense is gonna drop. But, but what's it called? But Porygon's a special attack. This one's actually gonna come really close. A lot closer than I thought. Maybe I can start coiling up, kind of getting after it that way. Boom's gonna knock off. He's gonna take off some items, and we're gonna fly, and we're gonna go into a scale shot. He takes off my assault vest. Scale shot doing some work. This could actually take him out very soon. Come on, get some more damage off. Only two hits, or is that a crit? He's still throwing. Come on, yo. Give me one more. Let's go, yo! My boy Zygarde clutching up. So Fly's gonna slide over there. Uh, what do we do from here? Ooh, this is tough. Does he have Ice Beam? Our defense is dropping. But there goes our speed. <laughs> Trick him down about. We're flying. This Porygon might actually clutch up against us. Do I protect? I think I protect you, right? I think I might protect. Are we out of sense of scorch damage? We are not. I mean, we are. That's rough news. That's rough news. I wish we still had it on the field, but this thing can just slowly recover. I might protect or I might coil. Do we think this thing... We're going we're gonna to protect. See what this thing's cooking with. Because if this thing's cooking with Ice Beam, that could be tough for us. Protect flying through here. We use our snake arms to throw protect. And this is a great battle. He's going to use a foul play. We're going to block. So I might coil next turn. Why is coming out here? Uh, how much damage are we really doing? Not too much. Decent amount. Burn's going to chip away. He might recover. I'm going to coil. I have to coil here. I have to coil. And then I could protect again and start wasting out Trick Room. Coil, coil, coil. Coil's not bad. Coil just bulks us up. Does it give us an attack boost? I think it does. The coil could be good, right? Yeah, it gives us an attack boost. I'm going to coil here. And I, I'm just going to Brick Break. I'm just going to Brick Break. See how much damage this is going to do. I mean, it didn't really do a lot of work onto uh, Glacier. here. Foul Play's going to come out here. He's hitting up on me. Yo, it's easy. It's all day. Coil's going to poke out here. We're getting that attack boost. We're getting that attack boost. I'm going to Coil again because I I'm reading him protecting next turn. Or recovering. Because we just got to play this one slow. We got to play this one slow, but it's looking really good for us. Big old damage onto the board. I'm just going to go into a Brick Break. But the thing is, if he doesn't recover, another Brick Break will kill. But if he does recover, we can Coil set up again. So, that's my plan. Coil set up. Let's Brick Break it up, baby. Let's do him dirty here. Let's do him dirty here. He just cancels the battle. There it is. 2-0 with this GMAX Sense of Scorch team. I honestly didn't think we would be doing this good with the Sense of Scorch team. We're playing up in some high master tier ladder, and we're 2-0. We got 2-0 rolling with us, and we're looking for a perfect record. Let's try to get it here going up against a heavy meta Growdown team. He's got Groudon. He's got Incineroar, Grimmsnarl, Celesteela, who is really good Ultra Beast, and then he has Venusaur to pair well with that Sun, and Regilaki, which is just phenomenal all around. But how should we go into this one? How should Jeans play us? I think Zygarde is going to be a great addition to the squad here. He does have Intimidate, so I might want to lead you. Do we think he's gonna go in that? He might just go into his uh his sun squad. And if that's the case, do I want to go into Indeedy? Or like Sentiscorch has a lead? Could be good. Hmm. Sentiscorch isn't bad here. We do have a grass coverage move. So I might lead my two dogs right here. I might lead my two dogs right here. Zygarde and Sentiscorch. That could be pretty cool. 
You guys already know we're two and zero, so I don't care if I lose this third and final battle. We already grabbed ourselves a winning record with this team, so I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. But we are two physical attackers. I kind of want to just go into you. I mean, maybe he's like, okay, he is defiant, so we're gonna do that. So you know what? Let's just go in the sense scorch. Let's bring Tapu Finny. Yeah, I do like Tapu Finny here. And last but not least, we will bring her defiant mod. I'm gonna say Indeedee's not showing her face in today's video, but I'm with this team. I'm really liking this team. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm having a blast playing with it. Just like I said in the beginning, it's a lot of fun using Pokemon that you haven't used in a while or never used before. So we coming out here. Let's do it, yo. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record with Santa Scorch, man. With Santa Scorch. Can't go wrong with this guy. Let's see who he leads. If he leads in Cinemora, I'm gonna be upset. Or she, over here, in this case. Let's see. Let's see. There it is. Groudon and Bean Bean. Okay, so Venusaur could obviously Dynamax. Groudon's kind of scary a little bit. Uh, what do I do? What's the what's the what's the play here? Uh, definitely could just Dynamax. He could put me to sleep, right? Or is Bug not affected by that? That was an arrow scale shot. Protect. Uh, ba 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 ba. I'm honestly thinking of maybe just scale shine. I mean, that drops her defense though, and I'm really not about it. She got a thousand arrows, and let's go into a flare blitz. Knock off. What's my play? What is my play? I don't know. I kind of just want to go into a flare blitz and not even Dynamax. But yo, this video is about sense scorch. So I, <laughs> I kind of just want to do it. Um, to knock off items. What do I want to do? I think I'm Dynamaxing. Send the Scorch. Let's do it, yo. You've been you've been a beast for me all video. All day long, you've been a beast for me. You Dynamaxing. Let's get it. I don't think he's Dynamaxing. I think he's putting me to sleep. Please, no. No, please. No, please. But the thing is, if he puts my, uh, if he puts my Zygarde to sleep, it's just a free kill for, uh, Send the Scorch. His focus ashes do not matter due to its, uh, its moveset. We love it. We love it. Let's see what he does. Let's see his dude's play. There's no way we out to be Venusaur, so there's just no way he's Dynamaxing. He's a sleep powder, and yo, I'm with it. I'm with it, like I just said. Like I just said, if he puts my Zygarde to sleep, his Venusaur's dead. We're slumped here. What's his Groudon going for? Groudon go- Ooh, Rock- Hey! Hey! Chill on me. Rockside does big damage. A little bit too much damage there. A little bit too much damage. Doesn't more than half. I'm gonna pop off with this. We're gonna take out Venusaur and say, hey, get on out my face. I'm sick of you. More importantly, we get this damage cooking. We get this damage cooking. Okay. So we're sitting in this spot right here where I have my Zygarde slumped and his Groudon is looking pretty pretty zesty here. But he is taking some nice damage. Look at that damage. I'm loving it. Loving it. That's big damage. After four or five turns, that's way more than half damage on a Pokemon. So that damage really adds up over time. It's really like that uh the Charizard move, the G Max Wildfire. It's just so good. Or like the G Max Fine Lash from Venus. It's just I I think they're broken. I think it's broken. I don't think Santa Scorch's move is broken because we're using a binding band to boost the damage, but like the other ones are just naturally big. Intimidate's gonna come out here. He's gonna drop a physical attack. And at this point, thousand arrows is just looking good. Let's go thousand arrows and we're just gonna protect here. We're just gonna guard. We are just gonna guard. And I might try to go after uh that Groudon next turn with a uh with an overgrowth. We'll see how this one plays. He's going for the fake out. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We're flinching or we're, we're fast asleep anyway. This thing's gonna drop another rock side, right? Yep, rock side comes in here. Block. And dodge it. Actually, side guard, it don't matter. You're soaking us up anyway. Easy eats. We need center course to dodge this next one. We really need that. So left over is gonna poke here. We're going straight for thousand hours. Or should I straight up coil? Might end up dynamaxing. Fire damage chipping away. Look how much damage we already did on the ground on. Like, my lord. It's, it's lovely. Let's go into this. We still have our uh, Tapu Fini in the back end. And we'll let Santa Scorch go down, but there is a chance he misses his Rock Slide. Or maybe he gets a, a, low, a low roll, but that's three turns of sleep. We're definitely going to wake up next turn. Rock Slide's poking here. Do we eat? Nope, we go straight down. My, my poor buggy goes straight down. And he might Parting Shot on me. If I was him, that would be the play. Parting Shot would be the play. But Santa Scorch goes down, we're out for the count. Sleep Powder definitely does his dirty there. And what's he going for? A Darkest Slayer too. Okay. Darkest Larry coming in here. He's just trying to get off some damage. We should wake up next turn and we should be thriving. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Power Construct coming out here. So good. So good, yo. That ability is phenomenal. But look how much damage we already did on uh, Groudon. About half. About half. And I think we still have how many turns left? One or two. It says four to five. Four to five was the description. So I, I wonder if it's just like an RNG thing. If one of you guys know, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But we get more HP back, which is amazing. And we're going to bring out... Might as well bring out Tapu Fini, right? Might as well bring out Tapu Fini. 
If he swaps that instant order, that could be good because the fine can eventually boost later in the game. But Finney's gonna come out here. Sun is almost done. We're just gonna drop a thousand arrows and the muddy water from there. Well, I could haze. Change all stat changes. How's the speed looking? Let me see the speed on Zygarde. Is Zygarde faster than uh Poppy Finney? 114. 118. I could get my attack stat back. I might do. Thousand arrows and just straight up go into a haze. Hmm. Yeah, let's get our attack stat back. I'm winning all day. Because I believe it's physical attacking, right? He's gonna end up dying. Ouch. Please be Groudon. Kind of hoping it's Groudon. Let's see what's happening. I'm kind of hoping it's Groudon. So last hitch effort here. Right? Thousand arrows physical. And I think Scale Shot's physical. He, he does die to Max Groudon. So that Pokemon's already below half health here. It's already below half health. Let's see how this moves. I think Incineroar goes last. I think Incineroar goes last and Groudon goes first. Actually, we go first. Okay. So attack stat is off the board. It's off the board. Can Thousand Arrows go next? We wake up. Awesome. Thousand Arrows going to poke. Getting off some mean damage. Yes, sir. Mean damage onto that Incineroar. This thing's going to pop its uh, Citrus Berry. And I think he's just going to take out my Zygarde. I'm kind of just waiting for the sun to end. I really am. I don't wait for the sun to end. Quake's going to fly through. He's going to get that special defense boost, which is huge. Which is huge. And Zygarde should be able to eat. All day, baby. All day. So we have speed. Speed's definitely helping us out here. And what is that boy over there going for? I'm kind of hoping Incineroar swaps here. Maybe parting shot. What's he going for? Darkest Lair. This dude's staying in. He's staying in for the game. He's staying in. He wants to play. So we should be able to eat. No, we do not eat. Ouch. Rough. That's rough. Okay. I really need that thousand arrows. So we're kind of sitting in a tough spot here. Let's have that special defense boost. And I, I'm curious if what's it called. I want to see if this thing was special attacking boost. Or was it physical? I think it's physical, right? Or am I stupid? Yeah, it's physical. Yeah, see, no, I'm not stupid. Gene's is fine here. Gene's is fine. We're going to bring out uh, this guy right here. And he's probably just going to drop a fire move. Probably just going to drop a fire move. We are going to go straight for a muddy water. And I might fly. Fly is definitely our play, right? Fly, dip out, go straight for a muddy water. I'm with this because we know we outspeed him. If we can dodge a turn here, I think he's going to go into a flare into me. We can dodge a turn. This could be big. But we'll still drop a buddy water through the drought. We're flying. We are out of here. Yo, we're dipping. We're trying to waste turns. We've been playing super well. If we could win this battle, that would be amazing. Buddy water's poking. How much damage are we really doing? Nothing nothing too too major. Groudon's going to go towards my uh, thunders, please. And this thing's policy. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's way hurt. Okay. Rockfall's coming in here. Big dodge. Big, big dodge. Big, big dodge. Parting shot finally comes out here. So we know he has to come back out into Incineroar. We have Defiant ready to roll. We have to find ready to roll, and I think, um, I think Drought's over, so Muddy Water and Fly should be able to take out Groudon. He's going to show his final Pokemon, which is bum, 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 so, Celestial. Celestial, Harsh Sunlight Fades. I'm with this, yo. I'm with it. We need this Muddy Water to connect. The Fire Spin's gone. God dang it, dude. I love the Fire Spin. I think Fly and Muddy Water can KO. I think it can, so we're going to go for it. Is he going to guard? What's he going to do? What's this dude's play? We have speed, but if we can take out Groudon, that is just a free free swap into what's it called? We need Muddy Water Connect. It does. That should take out Groudon, right? Are you kidding me? We just lost because of that. We just lost because of that. I think we would have won. No way Muddy Water doesn't take out. Top of Finny, you're banned. You're never, we're not using her ever again, guys. Are you kidding me? That doesn't KO? Dude, if that KOs, just think, if that KOs, Celestial, what are you going for? Maybe like a steel move, something along those lines. But if that KOs, he's forced to go out in his Cinemore, and we are sitting in a great spot. And he just Giga Drains into me, which we soak up. Oh my, dude, we had this match in the bag. We had it in the bag. That minus one really doing us dirty on the parting shot, but come on, man. That is whack. One HP. This guy beats one. I think we would have won that one. Right, Incineroar comes out, Defiant procs, we're sitting in a great position. You know, we can do some work up onto Celesteel with electric moves. Oh, oh my lord. Well, I guess we'll muddy water. We'll definitely take out the Groudon. We know we're going to lose this one. But he protect you son of a bitch. You know, I'll let your Groudon survive just because of that. You son of a biscuit. Are you kidding me? Your Tapu Fini couldn't have done, what is that, one HP? That's got to be on one. Can we get the act drop and maybe these guys just start missing? There's no way we win. This thing's all legit on one HP. Giga Drain's coming out here. It's over with. We have no way of taking out this uh, Celestial. We needed our Thunders. We needed our Thunders. And we had Assault Vest on for that special attacker. I'm telling you, yo, we were thriving. We were going to grab ourselves a perfect record. But hey, a winning record is not bad. 
Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But we're gonna run this one. Take that one to the chin, you know, because that's Pokemon. That is honestly Pokemon. RNG and people surviving on 1 HP. It's just Pokemon. But GG's 2 and 1 for today's video. Sent to Scorch is where it's at, yo. I absolutely loved using this team today. Super, super fun. And got to use Sent to Scorch, a Pokemon that I haven't used in forever. More importantly, grabbed ourselves a winning record with it. Using an off-meta team, going up against Zacians, going up against Groudon teams, just outplaying them, getting some wins on the board. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.